Good morning. We've had another calf. Right over there. All looks well. Happy days. Scraped passages, fed some pens, feed some cattle along the road to yard one. That's a close one. Great big belter of a calf through the night there. 99.9% .9 sure there's no twin, but she's just acting a little bit. So just have a quick check for twins. That nah, can't be a twin. Look at the size of that. That's her checked. No twins. I'm just a bit paranoid about twins, to be quite honest. The amount of sets we've had. Voila. 173. Nice head for a calf. There you go. Yard one. Kev's bill spike is complete. Paint's still wet. Otherwise, it's basically good to use. Sanderson brackets there. Those gussets we cut the other day. Kev welded them in one, two, three, four. Smashing. Kev's just at the topper just now, giving it a bit of a look over. A few new flails, greasing all the unions. Let's get this finished. Let's get this finished. I will show it and it'll be all done. Hello, it's me again. Crawford's still working on one of his broken down fenders. Today he's setting the injector clearances for all five injectors, adding in a new injector harness, cleaning off the gasket surfaces and renewing the blocker cover gasket. Will this fix his defender? There's about as much chance of that hunk of junk working as there is Crawford making his own team. Bye, speak soon. <laughs> <laughs> I just read the end bit. Mm. Kev is done and dusted with the topper there. All greased, all rebalanced. Well, he's about to go and just turn it on to see what the balance is like. Last time he was using it, it was chattering away because it wasn't very balanced, so. There's hardly an ounce of vibration off that now. Ideal. Lovely jubbly, that's good to go. I just need to go and get some grips to take that clamp off. I'm replacing this hose because there's a big old gouge in it there. It's quite nice having all the tools back on the wall. There was a month or so there where there was tools everywhere. I've gone for a bright yellow breather now for plus five horsepower on that breather pipe. Please don't go flying, please don't go flying. Nice. Don't go flying, don't go flying, don't go flying. Also don't want up to rub. Might make up a wee bit of a guard for that pipe. Cause that's gonna rub on there. Like the last one did. I actually don't think doing the injector seals on this is gonna solve the problem of my Defender not working. The guy who was chopping up logs for us the other day, he used to work for Land Rover for eight years. He said, make sure and try the filter head. And I haven't tried that yet. He said, that's a very common one, filter head. Air getting in there. So I need to order a new filter head. Well. We'll see if it works from this, but I don't think it will. Order a new filter head, fit that. Yep, that's it really. Got yellow pipe now, so probably about five extra horsepower. Can I suggest you do them every two years? It's uh, not been more than two years. Are we talking about the time it's been going or the time we've had it? The time I've had it. Wish me luck. Jump leads required. A good old classic, the jump leads are broken. The crimp fitting there has just slipped off. So.
time will tell. Go for a wee spin along the road and we're gonna be phoning for help immediately. So the usual is about a mile and a half and then dug, 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 dug. Dies. I'll go three quarters of a mile that way. You turn three quarters of a mile back. All going well, I won't conk out at all. All going well, if I do conk out, is I'll conk out back here. And I won't need a tow. I can't have put the injectors in too badly because it's still running. Which is a bit dusty. Right, turn around here. So it should be just right about now. It normally it'll start gargling and giving up the ghost. I'm just about to pass home. That's three miles so far. This might have solved it. In the space of two days, I've gone from two not working defenders to two working defenders. Beauty. Look at them. Sweet as a nut. Anyone who lives around about Kinross area, there's a young farmer who's got an internship with Scottish Agronomy. He's coming up from Essex Way and he's needing somewhere to stay while he does that internship in the summertime. So if anyone can help him out, give him a room or give him a bed while he's doing his internship. Give me an email there and I'll pass you on to them and hopefully you can sort them out. Fingers crossed we'll get them something. Lots of charm and full of class And it can be yours for a little cash It's got no radio and got no frills But open your beer on the dash Wow! Cook on the grill Aluminium body, got no rust, Easy. but a barber raincoat is a must. If you drive over hill or dale by the land over. Ooh. It's a series two with English plates. Go out cruising and impress your mates. It's not a Jeep nor an FJ40 nor is a Corvette or anything sporty. 